Hey guys, Tech Commissioner with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone predictive emoji not working. So what it is, usually if you go in text or somewhere and you start typing in, it should automatically pick up the emoji that you're trying to get to where it will be allowing, allowing you to choose it. So if I click on it, I can choose it right off the keyboard. But sometimes it doesn't work for your Apple devices. And there's a couple things you can do to fix that. So let's get started on the fixes. So the very first fix when you're having that issue is make sure that your keyboard that you set up is on English. So this one, you need to go press and hold this icon right here, the smiley face icon. And then you can see here, you can set the keyboard so make sure it's in English US usually is I find that usually that's a quick way to fix it now the other fix there is is going into your settings of your iPhone so once you go into your settings here you want to go down to general and then you'll see there's an option for keyboard and in the keyboard here you'll click on keyboards again one more time and you should see either these two default ones or if you have another one you'll probably see it as well so one thing you could do is go ahead and delete the emoji keyboard and then re-add it back in by add a new keyboard. You click on that and then you can search for it again, just like that. And then once you search it and now you have re-added it as well. The other thing you also wanna make sure in the keyboard setting is that predictive is actually turned on. Sometimes for some reason, if it's turned off because of a software update or you accidentally turned it off, you wanna make sure that it is turned on just like that so that you can get those predictive emojis popping up whenever you're typing on the keyboard. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having the issue is going ahead and doing a forced restart of your phone. So to do that, you're gonna do volume up and then followed by volume down. So volume up and down really quick one after another and then you're gonna hold this side button and keep on holding it till the screen goes completely black and then once the Apple logo reappear will let go of that button. So volume. So to do this, it's volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. As you can see, I'm not gonna let go of that button until I see the screen go completely black and the Apple logo reappear one more time. And once it does that, I'll let go of that side button. So as you can see, I let go of the side button and all this is doing is reloading the phone software and the code, making sure if there is any software related issue that's impacting that it will fix that issue. And this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. It's a quick way to give your phone a nice clean reboot and reload it one more time to fix any sort of software issue you might be experiencing. Now after that, if it's still not working, the next thing you can do is in your settings of the phone, go to general, and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, you wanna click on that. And then we're going to click on the first option for reset. And then the reset that we want to do is the reset of keyboard dictionary, this third reset option. Now, this option, again, is going to be pretty quick. It's going to ask maybe for your phone's passcode. And it's going to say it will delete custom words that you have pretty much typed in, uh, such into you the default of the keyboard, which is the only setting that it will kind of erase, it will not delete of your other personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. So we'll do that. And again, it's pretty quick. It just goes like that and it's done. And hopefully by now, that predictive emojis are working. Now let's say it's still not working. The next thing you can do, the final thing is going into your settings, general, and then making sure that if there is a software update out there, make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version. And the reason why you need to do that is over time, a previous update might have broken the functionality and then there's a new update to fix that. So make sure your phone is up to date and you'll see a download install. It is up to, if it's not up to date yet, but if it is, it will stay up to date and you should be good to go once you do that. Remember, if you do a software update, give about half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on how big it is and make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi and a power source by connecting into your charger. And that's it for the fixes for the emojis. Hopefully by now it's working for you guys. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.